So today I'm going to go ahead and get one of these Necron Warriors painted here. Um, I have an assortment of paints that uh, I've taken out. These are the paints I'm planning to use on this model. Um, because this is a Games Workshop model, um, there are actually um, specific paint, paint guides and specific paints that uh, you can follow uh, if you want to basically paint this to like the Games Workshop standard. But uh, I'm going to use you know equivalents to those here from uh, Vallejo's line. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what I have. Uh, I've taken out uh, inks here. So these inks are black and uh, skin wash, which is seems to be like a chestnut color. Uh, we also have a yellow and a green ink. I may not end up using all of these inks, but I just wanted to have them uh, out and available. Uh, I also have a sun yellow and a dark green. I think that these will be good for mixing. I'm going to do just a little bit of mixing today. You don't really have to mix. That's one of the reasons for there being a wide array of different paints. But um, anyway, I didn't really have like the exact color of green that you will tend to use on these Necrons. So we're going to mix it. Uh, we also have gunmetal and silver. So this is basically two different types of metallics. Uh, Gunmetal is just a darker silver. You could really mix it pretty easily by mixing like black and silver for the most part. Uh, and then I also have some blacks. Here we have just a straight black and a dark gray in case I want to use those and not add some weight to my black. So, uh, so that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and um, get started painting. I'm going to use this palette here. Uh, the reason for using a palette so, you know, what you would think is, oh, hey, you know, I'm going to paint this a base color. Let me just get the paint and put it on. But when you do that, you're putting the paint on at its full viscosity, right? And you should think of it like a concentrate, okay? This is just a little pot of paint here, right? But um, there's, there's a lot of pigment in this. And what you're going to want to do is get a thinner consistency on this in order to uh, to not overcoat your miniature, right? Um, it's easier to add some paint than it is to remove it. Uh, so you're going to want to thin this down. Uh, I think today what I'm going to do is actually thin it with some airbrush thinner. Um, you can use water. In fact, I would kind of recommend you don't have to go out and buy airbrush thinner. Um, if you're doing this for the first time or something, just use some water to thin it. Um, but uh, what I found is um, I figured if airbrush thinner is good for thinning a paint to go through an airbrush, maybe it's good for thinning it, for brushing it onto miniatures. And whether or not it's a placebo effect or not, what I found is uh, I feel like the paint goes on a little smoother when I thin with some airbrush thinner. You know, we're not going to get too advanced, we're going to keep it nice and simple. Oh, just an FYI, I do have two paint pots. Um, one here that my buddy got me, uh, a Citadel branded one, and one is just, you know, a mug. It's like, um, I think it's from Stargate when that movie came out back in the 90s. Anyway, I've used it for paints since, you know, the 90s, right? So, um, uh, so the reason for having two of these is because we're using metallics today, I'm going to use one for metallics and one for my non-metallics, so I'm not mixing little metal flakes and making my non-metallic things look metallic. Today I'm going to follow a uh, kind of a classic guide here from uh, from Citadel Color. This is Games Workshop's official paint line. We're not using that official paint line today, but, um, but we're going to use the general painting technique. Like I said, this is just how, you know, we used to do it. Um, give it an undercoat. I've undercoated this Necron Warrior in black, very similarly to the Space Marine. Uh, next we're going to apply the base colors. In this case, uh, we're really mostly doing silver um, for the most part. Maybe some like, you know, dark gray or something like that. A uh, little bit of, you know, sort of details in the green and that sort of thing. Um, so adding a shade to it, um, that's going to be like an ink, some kind of a wash. Um, which we will do, and then, uh, you know, you're going to want to paint the base, uh, which I may do, may not, uh, right today, and then, um, you also can add highlights, which is, is something that I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm not going to skip that part, 
uh, and then you know final sort of final details, final highlights, things like that. That's the the basic process. It's pretty straightforward. Base coat, shade, highlight, any last details, and you're all done. So uh, you know I loaded my brush with a little bit of paint. Uh, you can see I've gone ahead and um, just kind of you know gotten silver on the head of this uh, this Necron Warrior here, and. Um, you know, you're going to wash your brush. Uh, the paint kind of starts to dry and thicken a little bit as you as you go. Uh, and you've, you know, once you've applied more, most of the paint off of the brush, um, just, you know, go ahead and rinse, rinse it off again in your cup of water. And, uh, you know, dry it off on a paper towel. And uh, load it up with a little bit more paint. I'm going to go back and um, you know do just a little bit of, of a second a second layer on this base coat and I'm going to focus a bit more again on the areas where the the light I think would be hitting the most on this model um, you can see here kind of our first um, start of our base coat here just uh, silver. I don't know how well it's coming through, but you know it looks looks pretty good. And I'm using a relatively large brush. It's a number one brush. So I'm pretty happy with how this looks uh, for the base coat for now. For the for that, um, we're gonna go ahead and hit the gun. I think I might. Boy, I don't really know. I almost might hit the gun maybe with like dark gray and then. Uh, kind of highlighted a bit with gunmetal. Um, I think that maybe that's what I'm going to try for. Let me just take a look at the box a little bit. These are Necron Immortals, not Necron Warriors, but this is pretty much what I'm going for. So, um, just to kind of give me a little bit of a reminder. We are going to probably bring the bodies to a, a brass a little bit more. Um, and, you know, get a little bit of the green on the guns, but really it's not a very complicated color scheme. I was a little gummed up. I tried to do one drop and it ended up being more like one and a half or two. So uh, we'll see how this is. I think I'm just going to do one drop of this and if it seems too thick we'll go ahead and do two drops. So again I'm not, especially on this, I'm not being particularly neat. We're going to go hit this with a, a black wash. Um, just kind of went and get this dark gray on here. Just get some nice coverage. Try not to mess up our um, try not to mess up our base coat of silver. I'm noticing I missed a spot. Oops. So another thing you're going to be doing with your palette is, you know, when you when you get paint onto your brush, you're also going to wipe that paint on the palette, you know, a little bit to get uh, to get some of the paint off. You really don't just don't want to go too thick thick, thick with it. Okay, so our base coat is done on our gun, just a gray, uh, dark gray straightforward but I think it'll look a little better once we get some more details on it. Uh, one detail I didn't notice is a little stone uh, at his feet so I picked uh, out a, a stone wall gray from my Vallejo um, yeah colors <laughs> so uh, I figured that uh, that should be pretty good. It got a little bit of paint um, you know, kind of in the crevice between the stone and the foot, but that's okay. We can we can clean that up uh, as we go. So now it's time to do our um, our shading. So I think what I'm going to do is use this uh, skin uh, wash. This is kind of a chestnut brown wash on the silver. Uh, it seems to be um, you know kind of the Necrons tend to have this kind of brassy patina. I think maybe it depends on Necron or how you want to paint them, but I want to try this out. Um, I'm gonna maybe test it on like, 
you know, at the back of the leg or something like that, see if it's doing kind of what I want it to do, and then I'll go ahead and apply it to the rest of the model if it looks like uh, that's, you know, working the way that I want. Uh, we can adjust a little bit as needed. Uh, if it needs to be a little darker, I could, you know, add a drop of uh, black wash, for instance, or something like that, but I'm probably just going to use this as is. Uh, so again, this is very concentrated. I think I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, of airbrush thinner. I'm just going to start with one drop. To, I think I'd used like three drops of the uh, of the the ink. That still looks pretty dark, but I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out. Okay, so it looks like that does what I wanted it to do. It is a bit strong, so I think I'm going to thin it down a little bit more. Uh, I may end up doing, let me actually just thin it kind of one to one with this thinner. Uh, and it's possible I might even just need to, you know, kind of do the mix again with a smaller quantity. Oh no, that seems to be a bit better. So the uh, camera ran out of space, but here we have the um, shaded <laughs> uh, Necron, you know, shaded on the uh, the silver. So uh, it has changed the color, um, you know, pretty significantly. So I think when we do our highlights, um, we're going to have to take that into consideration. Um, you know, some people might highlight directly with silver, but I think I'd like to mix the silver, you know, possibly with the chestnut wash to, uh, to thin it, uh, and I think that we might get something that uh, is going to work really well for a highlight. But we're not quite done with the shading. Um, I am going to do a shade with the black ink uh, on the gun. I think it's going to be a pretty subtle uh, shade, but, um, but yeah, I'd like to do it especially just even, even just for... Um, getting a little bit of darkness in between the the spots where the gun connects with the uh, fingers, you know, the hand hands and the necron, for instance. Oh, I also did um, just do a, a little bit of kind of under highlighting on the uh, the spots, I guess, where the the light is going to be coming from the gun. Uh, it's pretty subtle, and also on the the tube, I guess, which is also going to be green. Um, you know, who knows? I might have to redo that once I once I wash the the gun with the uh, shade, but we'll uh, we'll see. All right, so our uh, our black ink, um, just kind of like we did with our other wash, although we really don't need very much. So we're just going to do one drop of this, <clears throat> and probably one drop of the airbrush thinner, and I think we're going to be good. Uh, I've really been doing pretty much all of this with the number one brush, aside from the little bit of, of highlights there. Okay, and that has a nice look to it. It's not too dark. It's not too... It's pretty thin. <clears throat> so we are going to, um, you know, relatively carefully apply this.
Uh, we want this to kind of get into the crevices, um, give this some more definition. Uh, it's definitely going to help and make a difference. Now that I think of it, I'll probably do it over that little bit of highlighting that we did to give that a little more definition. It's not really highlighting, it's just kind of under, under brightening, I don't know. One thing with the washes is you can <clears throat> if they're a little too heavy you can just wipe your brush off and use it to suck up excess wash. Uh, it's liquid so the same way that your brush you know sucks up the liquid uh, wash to apply it to your miniature you can kind of in reverse use it to take it uh, off of the miniature if you get a little too overzealous. Okay so I did the uh, the dark wash on the gun which I think worked out really well. Uh, I also added just a little bit to the um, just the kind of the deepest recesses and the joints uh, on the Necron on the Necron skin. So we kind of did a, a, a couple, a couple, you know, different um, sort of shades on the Necron. And I also hit that little, that little stone by its feet there. Um, so that kind of has a little bit of shade uh, to it as well. So we're to our highlighting portion. What I think I'm going to do is mix our silver with a little bit of this chestnut uh, skin wash. And we'll see what that looks like. I'm just really curious. Uh, even though it's a wash, it is still pretty thick, so I think I'm just going to add one drop of our thinner. And we might switch to, maybe we'll switch a brush. So I'm going to try an O for this. Um, let's mix up our highlight and see what it looks like. Okay, just looking at it, I feel like it needs more silver. Hmm. So I'm going to test this again. Um, I added another drop of silver and another drop of the uh, the thinner. Um, I'm going to test this out. Oh yeah. Well, that might even be too um, too silvery. Maybe we'll add another drop of the uh, of the wash. Wow, this is really interesting. It's really bronze. Um, I kind of like it, so I think I'm going to go with it for now. Uh, it's maybe just, it's just like a little more saturated maybe than I was looking for. I feel like we need something in between what I have here. One more drop of silver. This is more paint than I want, but I'm just not quite getting the mix that I was looking for. Let's see if this somehow does it. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. I think it looks nice. If I want to, I can always come in with, let's say, an edge highlight of, you know, more silvery. So again, we're kind of just hitting the, uh, you know, what I would see as the brightest spots um, where, you know, light is, is going gonna, is gonna to catch. Okay, for what that's worth, I think the, uh, the highlighting is pretty good. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but... I think I could while I was painting it. <laughs> so we're going to highlight the gun and then we'll do some kind of finishing touches details. So I've just thinned a little bit of gun metal here. We're going to see how this looks. I mean right now it doesn't look significantly different from silver. Um, I think I'm going to add maybe a drop of black to it. And as I suspected, that makes it a little thicker, so we're going to add just one more drop of thinner. So here we have the highlights uh, on the gun. 
Um, I don't know what I think about this. Uh, you know, it kind of just looks a little more silvery. I tried to kind of stick to, like, edge highlighting and then just sort of giving it a general, like, kind of light from above. Um, I don't know how well it comes through on the camera or how good it looks. But, um, I think we're just going to go with this, uh, because I don't, you know, want to spend a whole bunch of time on this. Uh, and we're going to do some, some of the kind of final details here. Um, these Necrons are pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to see if we can get the, kind of the cool greens onto this, and, uh, maybe we'll be just about done. So I'm going to switch to a slightly smaller brush. Uh, I've simply mixed one drop each of our green and yellow together, wherever, there we go. Uh, and I think that that, I think that's the green I'm looking for, for it to start with. Um, so I don't think I could have asked for a much better, um, sort of Necron green glow color than, uh, you know, that little mix that we did. I think that's great. Uh, we got that in the eyes, we got it on the weapon, and we got it, uh, you know, in the, the dots and on the tube there. I think that's all I'm going to do. Uh, I am going to, um you know, work on this a little bit more. We're kind of going to kind of, uh, you know, highlight it. It'll look like it's glowing a little bit more, and I think uh, we're going to be just about there. Uh, for starters, though, I am actually going to, I will apply a shade to this as well. I'd like to just, you know, even though it's kind of small details. And um, I don't know if you took a s special note of the inks that I had, but uh, I was using a green ink, but there's also a dark green ink, and I think that that, uh, like a black green, I'm sorry, I think the black green ink is actually what I'm going to use for our shade. So there's our shade. Uh, it's going to be subtle, but I think uh, I think it actually you know adds a, adds a lot of kind of depth to uh, to this little green details that we're making. All right, so I'm mixing up a little highlight here, and we want it to be a little more bright and opaque. I think what I'm going to do, also a little more yellow. I think I'm going to add two drops of yellow, one drop of green. Um, I think I'm going to put one drop of white, and that's going to be like white, white. Um, this is called dead white, I guess. And um, and thin it down, and we'll see how, the, how that looks. And oh man, was my feeling right. This looks wonderful. Um, so this is great, great for this uh, gun here. I do not know exactly how it's going to be for the um, the tube, but we're going to give it a shot. So my fear is that it was going to be a bit intense for the tube, and I don't know, it might be, um, but it's not bad. I think it looks quite nice, quite a bit like the, um, you know, the, the box art. And I got the eyes, the only thing I, I did kind of catch the bottom, um, of the eye socket for one of the eyes with the highlights so I'm gonna go back in and just darken that back up so we got our green finished up uh, I fixed the eye that was you know had just a little bit of an issue and I also you know I took a quick glance at the box art and I just went back in with a, a thing a piece of art a figure a model whatever um, you know you you're gonna want focal points where your eyes kind of go, right? And the one thing I was noticing with this is it, you know, the skin seemed kind of the same all over a little bit. And I felt like you're, um, you know, you weren't really drawn to the face, uh, like you probably should be. So, um, so I, I spent just a little more time. Um, uh, I mixed up just another skin highlight that's a, that's that much closer to silver. I basically just used silver, um, you know, thinned it, and I added just a little bit of our kind of more bronzish color highlight that we were using before to it and I really just focused that on the the face and the shoulders and sort of like where the direct like highest light would be coming in and shining down on this and I think that it did uh, help this quite a bit um, so you know taking a look at the at the box art for these um, I do feel like there's room uh, to improve for instance, um, but you know, I just wanted to get back in the saddle a bit I have not painted a miniature in probably at least a year and I have not been painting You know regularly and consistently in quite some time So, um, you know, this felt really good to just sit down kind of apply a really basic process um, we're talking a base coat uh, or, or you know like a like an undercoat then applying base colors then applying um, you know, shades using washes, and then just applying, you know, some highlights, some brushed on highlights. Um, I think we've got a really respectable Necron Warrior here, 
And uh, yeah, you know, I'm really looking forward to uh, continuing with this. Um, looking at the box art, I saw some some things that I might want to do a little differently going forward. Um, but I think this was a really cool, um, pretty much table-ready model here. Uh, aside from, you know, maybe the base, um, I'm tempted to just go ahead and, and do the base right now. But I think, um, you know, maybe I'll wait uh, just a little bit on that. I'm going to do more painting videos, um, not just Necrons. Got a whole bunch of Resident Evil models, a lot of old... Not old, but, you know, other models that I have, zombies, um, no, the Gene Steeler cults, all kinds of stuff like that. So I hope you'll uh, join me again, and please subscribe. This is a new channel, so if you want to see more of my painting, hit that subscribe button. Alright, thanks a lot. Take care, guys.